In order to determine whether a fluid is laminar or turbulent, we are going to introduce the term Reynolds number, which is going to indicate to us how turbulent the flow in a pipe may be. It is defined as RE, or sometimes NRE, as the density multiplied by the linear velocity multiplied by the diameter of the pipe divided by the viscosity. So in SI units, the density is given in kilograms per cubic meters, the linear velocity in meters per second, and the diameter in meters, while the viscosity is given as kilograms per meter per second. So what this means is that for a Reynolds number that is high, so that would be a turbulent flow, it's going to have a high density, velocity, or a large diameter, and a high Reynolds number or high turbulence is going to have a low viscosity. So just as a reminder, the viscosity is the stickiness or the resistance to flow of a fluid. So a sugar, sugary, a syrupy sort of substance will have a high viscosity. When we look at the units of the Reynolds number, we can rewrite the Reynolds number with the units as we've got for the units to the left, to the top right rather. So that's density will be kilograms per meter cubed multiplied by a meters per second of the velocity a meters for the diameter divided by a kilograms per meters second if we now try and simplify this we will see that there is one kilogram which cancels there are sorry there is one second which cancels and we now have one two three meters that cancel out with the meters cubed over there so that means that the Reynolds number is dimensionless. So once you've calculated the Reynolds number, you'll find it's often in the thousands. And if the Reynolds number is a value which is less than 2300, we are going to define that as laminar flow. If it is a value which is above, so greater than 10 to the 4, we are going to say that that is turbulent, so turbulent flow. So similar to the way we've got it in the right hand side of this pipe in the top here. And if it's anything in between, so a Reynolds number that is between 2300 up to 10 to the 4, we are going to say it is in a transition zone. So that is a not a laminar and it's not a turbulent flow.